Hey guys, what's going on? Alright, so I want to do a little story time for you And this will be rated PG-13 It's going to be no No graphic um, descriptions in this video Because um, at the time I'm 15 And I'm not having sex But um, I want to just say this So when I talk about women I hope I'm not attracting like subscribers that feel that I'm anti-woman because I'm not anti-woman I'm just telling you the things to look out for in the workplace and in your dating life or whatever if you deal with women just to look out for you as a man but um the only thing I am against on this channel is just feminism I'm uh, I'm a hundred percent against it I just feel that it's resp anything that that destroys the black community I'm against and feminism is responsible for why the black community has fatherless homes do your research on that but um yeah I know it's a little backwards like how are you going to be in support of of uh women that transition but you you don't support you don't support um feminism well I look at it like this and I don't, I don't really uh, identify very much with the LGBTQ community. I don't identify with it for, I, I, I may do a video talking about that, but um, I don't feel like they have personally done anything to the black community. I don't, I just looking at the history, if you can tell me one thing like the LGBT community has done to the black community where we don't have fathers in the home. We got drugs in our neighborhood. I mean, the government is responsible for that part I mentioned. But I thought I gave it some thought. It's ne it never really done anything to our community like feminism has. But, um... You know, I, I said it before. There are things that women that transition can offer me. I feel there's a, a more connection, more of an understanding, more of an attraction. You know, it's just uh, and also it's a little more sexier. You know, to to look at. Wow, you know, with women, there are things that they can't necessarily offer me. And they can offer me that a woman, you know, um, that has a transition can offer me. Like a woman that transitions, they can offer me headaches and periods and postpartum depression and getting on my fucking nerves if I leave hair in the drain. You know, that's that's just something. Now I'm talking about my <laughs> I'm talking about my dad's girlfriend now. But my point is I don't out of I told you out of both out of both uh you know groups I like both I prefer both and I don't know what the future is going to bring so I never I told my brother this the other day we were talking I told him that I refuse to label myself because I don't know what the future is going to bring and with just having my character and my loyalty I cease all other feelings I have for other people. So if I'm married or in a relationship, I don't look at other people. I look at the person I'm with. So I don't know what the future's going to bring. I don't know if I'm going to be married with kids 20 years from now, 10 years from now. I don't know if I'm going to settle down with, with a woman that transitions or that she gets a surgery. I don't know. But whatever it is, hopefully I'm happy and I have a, a good career. But jump to the point. But the jump to the video, the story. This is a story of um, my my one and only attraction, well, crush really, that I had with a woman that had to transition. And this is from 2010. I was 15 at the time, so let me just tell you right now, nothing happened, but um, it just opened up my awareness to the world of women that transition didn't know 
very much about it until I was arrested. So put it like this. Um, I'm 15. I'm not going to tell you what it was I got arrested for, but I was only in there for maybe 10 days the most to my knowledge. I don't think I was in there rather long. I had two cellmates. One was a, but, but I was understand I was moved upstairs after like maybe five, six days. So the guy that was my, that, so I had a cellmate. I remember his last name was speech. First name. I ain't going to tell you his first name. I want to protect people's names. And it was a guy in my cell name, name, um, Stever. Don't remember his first name. I'm not going to tell you his first name. We were all in a cell together. I remember we were in the cell and he told me that it's a it inside of our inside of our cell. And y'all know back in the day before we had all these uh pronouns and you know non-binary people used to say, is that a he, she, or it? So um it's so weird looking back, but I was like a little intrigued by what he said. I was a little just curious on what did he mean by that. So eventually we go out to the room. It's like a little room where you watch TV, you eat. And she was out there. Her name was Angel. I know her last name. I'm not going to tell you that. And because I remember the people that I put my attention to, I remember their names really good. Her name was Angel. She was about five, six. Um, she was Hispanic. And, you know, she she had like blondish, like a brunette kind of hair, I remember. She had a little facial hair. She had hips, breasts, butt, all that. And she had a cell to herself. I don't know what got her in there, but I remember, I know she was a little older than me. And they only house people um, that were under 18. So um, I do remember this. You know what? Speech was not my cellmate downstairs. It was an 11 year old boy that was my cellmate and Stever. I don't remember the 11 year old boy's name, but I know he he said that he put some African boy to sleep and, and he got locked up and he was only in there for like the weekend. I remember he said that specifically. He said, I put some African boy to sleep. So um, they were my cellies. It was 11 year old and me and Stever. Stever was older than me. Stever looked like he was mixed. So I remember talking to Angel. I talked to her um, like just by ourselves one time. After that, um, we would like greet each other and talk but it was around other people, but we only talked one time. So she asked me what it was I got it. I was in here for and that. And I know she told the whole dorm nine. I don't, it doesn't matter anything now, but I know she told everybody, but this is what at least got my attention. Like I have an attraction to girls that transition. When I was talking to her, what I realized was different was I was not nervous. I was comfortable talking to her. I didn't feel butterflies in my stomach. And there were times, like I said, she would shave. She she was not unattractive to me. Now, at 15, and just where we are now versus 2010, this is when, um, this is a little different, like 14 years ago. You would not, um, it was not, it was a stigma if you were talking to somebody like in school or in like juvie talking to somebody that was gay or trans or whatever you uh you you couldn't really be seen doing that not that i was cool or popular but i i just knew just from being growing up in philly that was something that we um we just couldn't do so you know um I talked to her, told her what I did, and um, you know I know she wound up telling everybody, but I just knew that I was I just felt no anxious, no anxiety talking to her, and you know 
eventually we wound up um we, we talked a few other times when there was other people around i wound up leaving um the facility before her i was released uh after maybe 10 days but when i left all i thought about was her like everything like i just said why why is it that i don't feel this way about all girls you know like the girls that don't have the transition why is it that i don't feel unnerved around them or or um not that we did anything but i never felt that that um calm around a female before so for the whole year i just thought about her every day i thought about maybe running into her one day and where i used to live i wasn't too far from the neighborhood that a lot of hispanic people lived in philly so i just always wish i would see her again and i didn't um i i thought about her so much i obsessed over her so much that i was beginning to be i was becoming a little confused of myself i thought about like um would that make me gay if i like her or i dated her like how would that how would that uh be interpreted by the rest of the world or my family so i was really confused and any thoughts that i had of like girls like her i would just bury them down or if i acted on them and i and when i wasn't like open about it i would just um i only acted on it like one time but i would never um i was not comfortable you know, acting on it because I just thought about how I was raised and what I was taught to do and not to do. But I just, I, I look at it like this. I look at the fact that I have a connection with somebody. I have a genuine, and I'm speaking of women that, that transition. I have a connection. I have an understanding. I have a, a more of a, of a sexual attraction. And it could go both ways, but I just prefer... I prefer the um, the submissive role more just because I'm a guy and I, I just feel like uh, I, I already explained that shit, that part. But I just feel like it's more of an attraction, more of an understanding. You know, um, I don't got to deal with the emotions of women that don't transition. It's a lot of things that I don't have to I don't have to deal with. And, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not hurting nobody. They're not hurting me. So, you know, why not just pursue what it is that I'm more comfortable with? And that's when I just come to accept whatever it is that, um, I have going on. Like I said, with OCD, I've learned to just accept it for what it was. Like with autism, I learned to accept it for what it is. There's not much that I could do to um to change like i remember one day i saw this episode of arthur where they t it was a character named carl who had autism and carl was freaking out because he was scared of george's uh george had this i think it was like maybe like a zebra that scared the shit out of carl and carl had a panic attack where he was he was in the corner and um and I just, one day I told myself, I wish I was born normal where I wasn't born like this. I wish I was born in a way where I, I was perceived normal by other people. But at my age, I don't give a fuck what people think of me. I don't give a shit how the world perceives me. I would just be how I was, how, um, <laughs> I would just be the person, the vaccine for the measles and the, um, and the uh the measles the measles vaccine made me to i'll just be that person and just accept whatever it is that made me that way which is the vaccine of course if i if i like to pray for i turn my turn my car on that's just what it is if i pray before every meal with the ocd that's just what it is if i have to read things twice to understand them that's just what it is if i have to start over shit if i have to start over a book after a before I'm done the first chapter, if, I, if I'm in the midst of the first chapter and I start that shit over just to get confirmation of what I read, that's just what it is. If I find a, a female attractive and she has a transition, that's just what it is. 
you know, that's just uh, what it is. And I, I don't really put a lot of thought into it because, like I said, a lot of people don't, don't really think this way. But on the appearance side, I just don't, I don't view them as women that transition. I just look at them as just regular women. And I don't have to deal, I just think it's more of a, of a, of a comfort for me because I do not, I guess maybe, maybe being a guy, I don't know, but I just do not understand the emotions of a woman. I don't, I don't get it. And I think lesbians are probably the same way. They don't understand men very much. So that's why you may see them with a woman that looks like a guy. Like I said, they may just know how to please their own gender a lot better. Maybe they'll enjoy that more. Cause like I said, I've never, I never enjoyed sex before prior to meeting a girl that I deal with right now. I, I never really enjoyed it very much. I maybe, maybe one time, but I, but I felt a sense of awkwardness relieving myself around another woman. I just felt a sense of awkwardness with it. But like I said, I, I know, I know what to do sexually i know exactly what to do i know what not to do and what to do i know what to say and what not to say i know how to be respectful and i know what is disrespectful i know how to treat a woman that that transitions i know exactly exactly what to do and i told you it's no fetish for me it's no um it's nothing i just i don't i don't disrespect people and I'm perfectly fine with um, them getting like the bottom surgery done too. Cause like I said, it's, I'd rather be with somebody that I can understand. Cause when you um, get the bottom surgery, I still feel that connection there. Cause like I said, it's, it's, it's good with me both ways. You know, it's good with me both ways. Cause I'd rather not I'd rather not hurt you doing, you know what? I'd rather not do that. But yeah, um, like I said, I never, um, another thing is too, which I don't, I don't know how to explain this, but um, I've only been outside of my race. So as of now, uh, that counts too, but I've only been outside my race two times and as of now too but i never uh i'm only dealt with hispanic women and um and black women i never i never done like white or asian indian i i did like a um a indian female i mean like a pakistani female like a, i've talked about her on my channel and that's the only time that's another thing too that is the only time that i really like the female who was actually a woman you, if you saw her um you you'll know what i'm talking about because it's not a lot of women like her but um but yeah um i feel that another thing i was kind of going with inter interracial dating i just feel the need I don't know if this is just me, but when you're outside of your race, do you feel the need to um, look your best because of the fact that, like I said, I'm already like I watch what I eat because of just the fact that like foods affect your body. And you don't want to turn off your, you know, your partner, your girlfriend, whatever. You don't want to turn them off by the way you smell, the way you appear. Like, I don't want to look or or smell disgusting. That's why I'm dropping a little bit of weight because I have to wash my ass a lot more than the average person. Because when I used to eat heavy, it made me sweat. And I, I would smell the foods I would eat on me because of COVID. But I don't know if they would smell it. So, um, I just feel the need, this is so weird, I feel the need to let my face show, as in, I'm trying to get down to maybe 175, so, 
my face can actually show like my cheekbones, my jawline, my chin can show and my um my stomach can get a little slimmer my and my sh only thing that I want to keep is my chest and my arms. But I want to I want to be appealing cuz I don't want to I just don't want to be like too heavy and um cuz the one thing I I will never really understand and I I don't I like I said, I don't understand it because I'm not a I'm, a, I'm a guy. But I don't know what women, or and most specifically women that transition, I don't know what they find attractive in men. I don't know if it's attractive if I should keep my beard. I don't know if it's attractive if I should shave. I don't know if it's attractive if I should cut my, my pubic hair off or my ass hair or my leg hair. I don't know what is attractive. I don't know if they like it if you look younger or older or you have gray hair i do not know what is attractive and what is not attractive so that's the only thing that i'm i'm still a little um in the uh mystery about like i don't i don't know what they find attractive in men i would love to know but i don't know um what is attractive about a man that a woman or a woman that transitions like so much because with a woman that transitions a lot of the times they will um and I, I think i've seen this before they can be with a guy that may be a little girly because i i remember one time um maybe they were just friends i don't know but i was working downtown and i saw a woman that transitions with a guy that was carrying a purse so they um they don't they don't really have like um a lot of the times they don't not they will not not date a guy or be with a guy because he may be a little girly. When I used to watch Jerry Springer, I remember it was a guy who was dating a trans uh, woman that transitions, and he he was uh, wearing women's clothes himself. So that's just something I don't really understand too much. But um, my goal, my weight right now. Is uh, just to, and also just for self image purposes as well. I want to drop some weight because I I just want to look and feel good when I go outside. 